to the broader market. We're joined by Chris Conway, Head of Research and Trading at the Australian Stock Report. He joins us now live from our Melbourne studio. Thanks so much for being with us today, Chris. Let's just kick it off with the market in general because it is, does look like the Australian share market is heading for the 6,000 level, although we've dropped back a bit today. What do you make of it? Yeah, well, look, the bulls have taken a bit of a breather today. Uh, that's on the back of the leads that we saw from the overnight session. Uh, of course, in the US, we've seen the S&P 500 and the Dow print record all-time highs recently, so they didn't move much overnight. Uh, the local bulls, as I said, have taken a bit of a breather. We've seen a bit of a sell-off. So just holding steady for the moment, a bit of consolidation, uh, and now the focus turns to what the market will do in the near term, so over the next uh, week or two. Heard from uh, Qantas Chief Executive Alan Joyce. The stock price up about 5% now at $2.95. What did you take out of this one? Uh, look, overall we think it was a good result. Obviously it reinforces that the turnaround story for Qantas is on the right track. Uh, positive met metrics across the board. Given how far the stock has run recently though, moving from around $1.25 in October to presently be trading, as Carson just said a mo few moments ago, up towards the $3 level, it has run very, very far, very, very quickly. Uh, whilst the results today are positive and again reinforces the, uh, the turnaround story, the question now is uh, how much more is in this stock? We don't mm. think there's too much more. We think it's probably appropriately valued at this time. The other factor to take into consideration is that Qantas didn't uh, announce that they would be reinstating their dividends today, which may disappoint some investors and cause them to move out of the stock as well. Yeah, that's interesting the, because speaking of what is shareholder friendly at this point in the cycle, Nine Entertainment with the share buyback, mm. uh, is this really the catalyst for perhaps a re-racing now? For NEC, yeah, yeah, absolutely, I would think so, Carson. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the share buyback you just mentioned, $150 million over the next 12 months. That's the big news today uh, for NEC, which has seen the stock jump as much as 15% uh, off the open this morning. So uh, they also reported their profit up at around $89 million, which was at the top end of their recent guidance, uh, as well as that they... They have uh, signs that the advertising market continues to recover strongly. So, yeah, positive result for NEC, positive uh, outcome in terms of the share buyback, and, and we would expect to see NEC move probably towards the top of the 12-month range, around $2.40 uh, over the next 6 to 12 months. Just also looking at Billabong as well, we're watching that stock today. Shares originally rising about 4%, return to profit for the first time in three years, but now it's down about 4%. What do you make of that news? Yeah, so uh, a huge turnaround there. We watched it off the open and it was up by as much as 7%. Mm. That's on the back of the company returning to profit of uh, $26 million. We were expecting profit of significantly less than $10 million. So another turnaround story, obviously not as well, ad well as advanced as the Qantas story in its infancy still. I think what investors were worried about there was uh, declining global sales. So Europe has been performing well for uh, Billabong. The Americas still remain a difficult proposition for them, however. So the initial jump on the back of the profit result, but obviously coming back significantly uh, on those global sales numbers. Mm -hmm. So how do you play this, given the, uh, the backdrop story of maybe a turnaround for the better in the United States, this idea of rate rises signaling an economy that can withstand some upward uh, pressure on price? What do you make of it? I mean, in terms of... Uh, in yeah. terms of Billabong yeah. specifically? Abs absolutely. Yeah, look, still a diff difficult story, uh, mm. or a difficult situation, I should say, for Billabong. Need to probably see some more evidence. Uh, again, look at Qantas this morning. They jumped out of the blocks uh, and, have, and continue to rally uh, on the back of a story that is fairly well, uh, fl uh, p has already played out, so to speak. So Billabong still in its infancy. Would need to see some more metrics there before uh, rating this one a buy. So probably just a hold at the moment, looking for some more evidence. Just also on these CAPEX numbers, which are due out in less than, or about 25 minutes time, just from a more market perspective, if we see this number be uh, um, miss expectations, I should say, and that sort of increases the likelihood of a rate cut going forward, what might that do to the yield play and markets? You know, could we reach 6,000 as early as today? Uh, today, Possibly not. Uh, on the back of the RBA cutting rates, uh, I would think so. I think that would bring the yield play firmly back into focus and see us jump above 6,000 and beyond. Mm. But as you say, the CapEx number is extremely important. And it's not so much the, uh, the overall CapEx number, it's more so the non-mining number. We're looking at that to come in around 54 to 55 billion. Above that, it's a good sign of growth and, and uh, the RBA would be less likely to cut rates. Below that number, and we think the RBA would be more likely to cut rates. So, 
Very, very much depends on, uh, or very much will be impacted by what that capex number comes out at today as to whether the RBA cuts and that provides a boost for the market and we get beyond 6,000 or the alternative where they uh, remain steady uh, and we just hover around the 6,000 level for the foreseeable future. All right, Chris, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us, though. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Chris Conway there from the Australian Stock Report out of our Melbourne studio. Okay, Perpetual out today with a strong rise in its first half profit. It's reaping rewards.